This is the Bourneville winter mooring, so it's just a boat moorings and previously this site has been used for many things. More recently it was left and the grass was taller than me, really, uh, you'd lose me in it. Um, and we had a lot of rubbish on site and so it was a lot of clearance before we could turn it into what is now becoming a wonderful wildlife garden. Alright guys, come on then, let's get some stuff, bits and bobs, goggles. We're in a Canal River Trust garden by Cavaries and we are cleaning it up and we've been doing it over three months now roughly. The students we've been working with are from Sally Oak Trust School. It's a special educational needs school, so many of our students have ASD, autism spectrum disorder or learning difficulties such as dyslexia. All our students are 16 to 24 years old. What do you reckon this one is? If you're not sure, what could we do? Smell it. Smell it. We've got a sensory garden on site. Give it a smell. What do you think it is? Mint. Mint. And what could we put it in? How could, how could we eat it? Tea. Tea? What else? Ch ice cream. Not only has it got specific herbs in it that will support a nationally scarce bee that is within this area, but it also is focusing on how people interact with the environment in different ways. What I thought of Thyroteering when I first came was I would be a bit bored and when I first kind of came I was quiet, I worked on my own, but now I talk a lot more make friends. We're using problem solving skills and we've been working on our bug hotel. And we're going to find some leaves on site so each box is going to be a different habitat that will support a wide range of invertebrates. Today we was cutting all the sticks to the right size to make sure it looked all neat with the bug hotel. We was putting them in without trying to get them to all fall out on one side. It was really fun. A lot of our students, when they first came, they would always have a scarf over their face, they'd have their hood up, and what we've seen is that the, the hood has come down, the scarf has come down, and they're actually not only contributing ideas of their own, they're problem solving, they're working independently, they're helping each other. Good skills, mate, yeah. Real push, push you out the squeeze and pull back. With the students who have come here today, our Monday group, I have noticed that a lot of them have further developed their confidence in the 12 or so weeks we've been coming here. They have become more independent, they've learned how to do things for themselves without having to ask for help or without having to be told to do it. It's great to see how much they will change since September. I've been thinking about my future with work, how I will be wanting to go in construction a lot more, especially with outside if possible. This wildflower garden has been created in line with the Canal and Rivers Trust Green Recovery Project and using funding from the government's Green Recovery Fund that aims to restore habitats across the West Midlands, focusing on priority species, whether it be butterflies or water voles. My favourite thing is day cage. We found sticks on site, we put them in the day cage. In the future, this space will be used as an outdoor learning space for local youth groups and it will also be accessible at public events to local communities so that they can also connect with their environment and learn about priority species in the area and how they can help.